Hello, welcome to the January market update. Uh, let's look at the news nationally first. What's going on in the in the press? Well, the Wall Street Journal picked up on it. Their headline yesterday was "Inflation hits fastest clip since 1982." So we've been talking about this in the market update for a while, and now it has come to fruition. What does this mean? Higher inflation. Well, higher inflation means, in most cases, higher interest rates. Higher interest rates mean real estate sales go down um, because it's more of a psychological thing to go from 3% to 3.5%. It's not that big a deal. But psychologically, folks feel I missed out, so therefore they don't put their house on the market. Well, that's, that's foolish. They need to put their home on the market if they want to sell it. But the increases in interest rates, yeah, they're going to go up this next year. What will they end up being? I don't know, maybe around 4% at the end of the year. But some people psychologically will say, I missed out, and that's when they freeze and don't do anything. Uh, another bit of data here, which is really interesting. <laughs> I love this. An outside panel of economists and housing experts participated in Zillow's most recent home price expectation survey. We're evenly split on whether sales will rise or fall in 2022. As concerns over worsening affordability collide with expectations for rising inventory. When asked whether sales will rise or fall in 2022 compared to 2021, 41% of the participants said sales will grow, 41% predict a slowdown, and 18% believe sales will remain roughly the same. Go figure. Are prices going up or are they going down? Are the number of sales going up, they're going down. Well, the quote unquote experts are evenly split on that. Uh, another interesting statistic, this was uh, about 40% of Americans recently surveyed say they're considering a move in 2022. That's incredible. Almost 50% of people in our country are considering a move. Uh, when asked why, numerous reasons. One is safety. Two is uh, I need more room. My house is too small. Uh, three is you know, different features. We need a, a larger kitchen, whatever. Now that I'm working from home, we need different rooms that used to be used for a den. Now we've got to convert it into a study. So anyway, there's going to be a lot of people moving, it sounds like, this near. Uh, let's shift gears to locally now. now the last six-month market snapshot. So if you average sales price over the past six months, Colleton River, 1.1, actually a million 190 Belfair right over a million 1 million zero 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 five five six Berkeley Hall 987,000 right about the same with Belfair average price Oldfield 910,000 about the same Palmetto Bluff oh my goodness 2.5 2 million five hundred thirty four thousand Hampton Hall 783,000 Hampton Lake 888,000 so obviously our local market is strong, it's hot. Um, what are the prices going to do in the coming months? Well, 41% say they're going up, 41% say they're going down. So you pick it. But realistically, we know we're at the highest point in sales that we've ever been in our lifetime. So if you are considering selling, um, I think rather than being greedy and maybe waiting for prices to go up, well, what happens if they go down? Um, we know now that prices are at an all-time high. So if you are considering selling, call me uh, or text me or email me. Be happy to come by your house and give you a market valuation and uh, let me know how it can be of help. Take care.